Hey everyone, Sean Frangella here with a new movie title recreation tutorial about how to recreate the Minions logo in Cinema 4D. So this is a fun little tutorial. I'm excited to put it together. I'm wearing a hat today in the intro, so it's going to be a good day. And this one is all about getting the details right. So we're starting with some basic Motex, and we're really working on lots of little details with getting the lighting and texturing settings really working for us to get the exact look we want. So let's get into Cinema 4D and we'll get started on this fun little movie title recreation tutorial and get right to it. So here we are in Cinema 4D with our final render. And like I mentioned, a lot of getting this one to look nice is in these minor details and our render settings. And the way we set up our project file here to get everything to look exactly how we want it. So I'll just make a new file and we'll start this from scratch. And the first thing we need is, is some Motex. So I can press Shift C and just type in Motex. That's a quick way to get that. Double click that. And I'm gonna go to object and type in lowercase minions. And a font I found that works pretty well for this, gets pretty close, is this Moderna. It's not the exact thickness of the font, but we can fix that in a minute. And we'll just change this to align middle, and then we know it's exactly in the center of our scene. And what's cool about this logo is that the depth is really far, and you don't really see the edges of the letters, and we can do that by turning the depth way up and pointing the camera down a bit. And now to get that thickness and the bubbly look, we'll go to caps and we want to change these both to fillet caps, but we don't want it that kind of harsh bevel. So we can change this to four steps and four CM on the radius. And we'll do the same thing on the back, even though we don't see that. And then we get our nice type. Now we need that floor and the logo in the previous has this infinite floor look. And we can grab a quick one of those. If we go to our content browser and just search for studio, there are a couple little geometric studios included in Cinema 40 right here. And if I double click that, it'll bring it into my scene. And I can take a look at this from my side view. And all you gotta do is take the studio and scale the whole thing up. And it's gonna expand that out where we get it below our camera. And then we get our type and our little stage. And now what we need to do is work on our lighting and textures and render settings. That's really the big part of this one. So if I press Alt R, we can take a look at what our scene is. And of course, this doesn't look very good yet at all because there's nothing here. So what we want to do is make a new material for our text and I'll double click that. We'll call this gold. And we want to change this color to kind of an orangish gold color. And I'll drag that onto my text so we can see how it looks. And we could probably go a little more towards yellow but we want this to be a, a bit brighter even when we add light. So what we could do is add luminance, but change that to kind of a similar goldish color and it, take it down quite a bit. So let's just put it at like 25 or 50, maybe a split the difference and go 35. And then it's just going to be a little brighter even when we add lights, which will help with some of the shadow areas. Now we want to light this thing. So what we can do is grab an area light and I'll drag that in my view in front of this and up a bit and that'll give us our nice base lighting and we can turn on area shadows right here but one thing we don't want if we take a look at our render is we don't want those thick shadows on the ground like that so what we can do on that studio floor is add a tag for compositing i'll go right click cinema 4d tag compositing and we'll just turn off receive shadows then we're still going to get our light to cast these shadows on the insides of the letters but not such harsh shadows on the floor. Because what we want on the floor, if we go to our render settings, is actually we want ambient occlusion to be the only thing that's causing that shadow, is just those contact shadows. And if we check that on, we can see that's already really helping to get that little soft shadow, which is really all we want. And while we got this open, it'd be a good time to set up our render settings to start, because that's gonna really help make this look solid. So we can change this to the physical renderer. And one thing that's nice about ambient occlusion, you can see it's a little harsh, is we can change this a bit. So if we make the color not just 100% black, but maybe like a dark blue, and even take the maximum ray length down, you can see it will still get that, but it's not gonna be and harsh. And that's nice, that's a good start. Now, similar with the luminance on the letters, we want the white a little brighter, and we don't wanna see this line as much. So if we go to that material, and similarly, we'll turn on luminance, and that's gonna make it completely white, that's too much. We'll just take that down, to about half and then we get that nice bright white that works a little better now that's a good start but how we can really push this is really pay attention to what's going on with 
our material right here and how it's projected onto our letters, as well as some additional render settings for our lighting. So this is nice, but the actual logo has the inside of the letters a little more orange. And how we can do that is tweak a couple things. So rather than this texture being on the whole thing, what I'm gonna do is go to selection tag and type C1, and that's gonna put this just on the cap. And I'll duplicate that by holding command and dragging. And on this copy, I'll type in R1, and then we'll get that main gold just on the front caps. And if you wanna know more about selection tags and a lot of little tips about how this works, when you're done with this tutorial, be sure to check out my other one all about selection tags. It's a really good introduction to this. So plug over, let's keep going. The reason I wanna do this is because I wanna duplicate this whole material, open this up, I'll rename this orange, and we're just gonna tweak the colors a little and cheat the lighting a bit. So we'll make this a bit more orange, and same thing with our luminance, just drag it more towards red. And then I'm gonna drag this onto my Motex, but put it before the other two materials that deal with the caps. And what that's gonna do is apply that texture to the insides in the main part of our 3D text, and I can tweak it further if I want. And then after that, it's gonna texture on the front cap. So we can see that we're able to get slightly different colors on the different parts of our text, which is nice. Now, another way we can really push this lighting is since we're just dealing with a still, I'll go to my render settings and I'll turn on effect global illumination. And what that's going to do is create this global illumination effect where light is bouncing and reflecting off of the surfaces in a more realistic way. And it makes it look a little brighter, but what it does is bounce that light that I've my seen off the white onto the text. And now we might just need to go to that light and bring it down a bit because it'll make the whole thing a little brighter. But what's nice is we're going to get a lot more believable lighting that we'd see if there was a light bouncing off this bright white floor onto this 3D text. And the last thing we want to do is drop in an actual camera. Right now we're just using the default Cinema 4D orbiting camera. But if we drop in a camera and pop in our camera view with this button, if we can change the focal length to something smaller like 20 and what that's going to give us is more of a wide angle lens and it'll make the text look bigger and a bit more distorted and now if i go to my render settings for output i'll change this to 1920 by 1080 so we get an hd aspect ratio line up my shot and then if i do a shift r we can take a look at our render and it's going to run the global illumination first and then we have our 3d minions type logo as it appears in the movie title sitting on our white floor and we're going a little beyond just typing out Motex and adding a basic texture. We're adding some key little tweaks to get things like global illumination, bouncing that light and changing our texture settings with our selection tag options and getting into a little bit of custom lighting with this compositing tag. So I hope you learned a lot. It was a fun little movie title recreation to set up. And if you're into the channel, be sure to subscribe on youtube.com slash Sean Frangella. And if you like the tutorial, you can let me know what you thought. On Twitter, I'm at Sean Frangella. And if you want to keep going with more Cinema 4D or motion graphics, be sure to check out some of my other tutorials by clicking those thumbnails to get more Cinema 4D, After Effects, movie title recreations, and all sorts of visual effects and video editing tutorials. Thanks for watching everybody and I will see you at the next video. Do you like watching these tutorials and want to see more episodes more often? You can help keep the show going by lending your support on Patreon at patreon.com slash seanfrangella. More importantly, if you want to throw in a couple extra bucks, you can get bonus content like project files used in the tutorials, answers to direct questions, live hangouts for questions, and even request specific tutorial topics for me to use for my next video. Also be sure to subscribe to the show by clicking the subscribe button or visiting the show homepage at youtube.com slash seanfrangella. And if you're hip with social media and have a question about this tutorial, you can find me on Twitter at seanfrangella. As always, thanks for watching and I will see See you at the next video.